Hi guys, it's Lee here, uh, just previewing the weekend's game. Um, obviously we've got all the edge, um, top of the league at the moment. A game which I was certainly looking forward to being a top of the table clash uh, after last week's disappointment of losing at Nantwich. Uh, hopefully we can put on a much better show and uh, potentially do the double over broadly this season. Uh, last Sunday was a complete mixture of emotions from complete ecstasy after a fantastic batting performance to the lows of probably 12, 13 overs of pretty average bowling, with the exception of Ash Davis, uh, with us managing to pull it round and taking it to a super over. Uh, the super over was something to behold, and obviously I think Wallacey were pretty confident after scoring 14. Uh, but, you know, that was a moment where Warren Goodwin stepped up and put two huge sixes, one onto the roof, uh, to see us home and take us to this final against Bootle. Uh, Bootle have won the uh, Echo Knockout nine times, just about an all eight. So it's definitely a fantastic opportunity for, for us to pull level with them in a competition that we take extremely seriously. And I know that a lot of our long-standing members look very fondly back on the time the Liverpool competition. And this is a great opportunity for us to take on some of our old friends. Uh, Bootle come to us with a number of different um, challenges and some quality players that are going to cause us problems definitely on Sunday. Uh, Captain Craig Prince will be confident that they can come and maybe do a job on us. Uh, I'd like to think that we've got a lot of experience and the last time that we played in the Echo Knockout was at Filkins Lane and we were successful that day. Um, team news wise, Jack Williams, obviously a very key component to our side, is back after being away last weekend. Um, his bowling and you know all-round cricket ability in the field and with the bat is going to give us a real um, extra strength in that order and with the ball. We're still without Ross Dixon, who's continuing with his studies, um, so that'll leave an opportunity open for someone to step up and play in a big final. Uh, but it's, you know, you've got to look to players such as uh, Ash Davis again, who's been extremely successful with the Duke's ball in his hand, and ex Morgan player Will Owen, who came back and bowled brilliantly towards the death in the innings in the Wallacey game, getting the key wicket of Carruthers. So hope to see everyone down there. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic game. I know the under-14s are playing at Neston at uh, 10.30 in the morning in the under-14 Cheshire Cup final. Uh, and we follow on straight after that at 1 o'clock at Filkins Lane. Uh, there's some fantastic bar promotions on. Uh, I know they're already on the website. And uh, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be a fantastic day. So get yourself down there, support the boys, and I'll see you then.